Thank you for staying with us on Enjoy News Prime. Time for the sport. I'm Gary Al Smith. Now, first story, the Ghana Football Association have revoked the provisional license of Ashgold's coach, Kasim Gochildios. Now, he's from Turkey, and he's been in the country for a while. But as you know, before the season started, the Ghana Premier League's uh, regulations changed to say that every Premier League team needed to be a licensed a holder. Now, according to the story, he doesn't have it. The Ghana Football Association, per its checks with both the German Football Association and the Turkish Football Federation, is unable to validate the authenticity of Mr. Gorgildes' license. In the foregoing, the provisional license issued to Mr. Gorgildes is hereby revoked. Consequently, the GFA will delay its name from the competition management system, and you are by this letter requested to cease using Kasim Gorgildes as your head coach filling which the necessary sanctions shall apply. This directive is with immediate effect. In other news, Inter Allies have surprisingly produced the top scorer of the Ghana Premier League at the moment. He's a joint top scorer, to be clear. His name is Victorian Adebayo. He's taking the league by storm, and it's not surprising that his name is on the lips of many. Who is he? We know he's from Niger. But what motivates him and how has he overcome the language barrier? George Addo Jr. went to visit the man who has three assists, eight goals, and in eight games. Inter Allies may be 11th on the Ghana Premier League log, but they certainly have a man who is making huge waves in the Ghana Premier League so far. Out of eight games, he scored eight goals and has won four MVPs in great games in which he played. As well, he's managed to get three assists. So much for the young man in the space of nine match days in the Ghana Premier League. Victor Enderibayo is the man we're talking about, and we're here to find out what makes him tick, what's really working out for him here at Inter Allies, and why he thinks he may just be the goalkeeper at the end of the season. He has always been at home, in his home away from Niger, scoring and never looking back. The Nigerian, in his second stint with Inter Allies, is coaching the 2019-2020 Ghana Premier League with excellent performances coupled with deserved end products, goals. Je viens du Niger. J'ai quitté pour le Niger pour venir au Ghana pour jouer le championnat du Ghana. Parce que je n'ai pas habité de jouer le championnat du Ghana. Mais maintenant là, je suis bien rentré au Ghana. Je suis bien, bien, bien rentré au Ghana pour rejoindre le groupe là. Comme on ne se connaît pas quand je suis venu. Mais un peu de paix avec les entraînements, avec le coach. J'ai habité de connaître tous les joueurs. Quoi. Maintenant, je suis bien avec les joueurs, tous les, tous les joueurs. Bon, quand je suis venu pour la première fois, je n'ai pas habité. Je pas habité de rester moi seul. Mais un peu, un peu, je suis habité de rester moi seul. Et maintenant, là, je suis à l'aise au Ghana. Le Ghana, là, c'est bon. Quite simply, the defender's nightmare. After nine match days in the young season, eight goals in eight Premier League games and has snatched four most valuable player of the match awards and provided three assists already in a little space of time. Fan zone is where we cover these things in detail. So this is just a teaser for you. Join Hans Mensah Andor at 10.30 for that one. But just to give you an idea of how he is doing on the scoring chart, Victorian is leading like this. He's at the top because he's played less games than Yaya Mohamed of Adriana Stars. Yaya Mohamed has played nine games and um, Adebayo has played eight games and scored eight. Mediama have Prince Ajima who scored six. Prince Kwabna is from Bicham United has scored six. Now Prince Kwabna is 16 years and he scored six goals in the league. Ibrahim Osman has five. Bernard Boatin has five. And Elvis J. Cheba four of Liberty Professionals also has four. In other stories, in the bikers division, the group of bikers called Bikers Lives Matter have embarked on a charity uh, ride as well in their quest to support the less privileged in society. They have taken a trip from Accra to Akunsombo where they donated over 2,000 exercise books to a local school. 
Over 100 bikers took part in the 2020 edition of the Bikers Lives Matter. In the first edition, bikers rode from the Accra Mall and made stopovers at La Paz, Medina and Adenta, where they distributed flyers to drivers and shared safety tips with them before reaching their final destination, Pedroasi Valley Resorts. But this year's event took a different turn, a charity ride from Accra to Akosombo. Bikers converged at the Accra Mall and got ready for the trip. After they were given safety tips, the team set off. At Akosombo, the team donated over 2,000 exercise books to the Wesley Methodist School. Also, six brilliant but needy students were awarded scholarships. Thomas Isiape Jr., director of Bikers Lives Matter, was happy with this year's event. Uh, today's event was on charity, but the main concept behind this uh, charity is we are sending a message across to the public. Now, we've gotten to realize that bikers are mostly not respected in the public roads. We've realized that the drivers are mostly kind of intimidating bikers on the public roads. So the message we are passing across is we are saying that a biker's lives matter. Whoever is in the helmet could be your mother, it could be your friend, it could be your father, or it could even be your boss. So all we are trying to say is that drivers should look out for bikers, that even if we are in error in any of their road traffic regulations, they spot us and then they are able to assist us. Electroland Ghana Limited is one of the main sponsors of Bikers Lives Matter. Adiza Ibrahim Sadek is in charge of marketing. Anything that has to do with charity, if we look at it and it is laudable, we don't hesitate to come on board. This is not the first time we have supported bikers. We have done it with them like a year and two years ago. We go to orphanages and we donate to them. So this one is also laudable. That's why we are on board. Anything that is positive, like I mentioned, we look at it and then we hop on board. And with that, I also zoom out of the studio. My life matters. I'm Gary Elsmith.